Say hi. Oh, say hi. Alyssa. Look. Look. Say hi. Oh, no. She already said hi. Hey, everybody. Happy Sunday. We have a special guest. Say hi to Mommy. Look. Say hi, Mommy. Say hi. <gasps> Mommy's look. Mommy says hi. Say hi. Hello, Carol. Hey, Casey. Hello, Carol. So we have a special guest for just a couple of minutes tonight, and then her and Papa are going to go for a walk. But Alyssa, say hi. Look. Who is that? Who is that? Can you say hi? Do. Do. Hey, Marlene. Hey, Star. Oh, uh, no. Wait, what do you want? You want this? Hmm. Not that? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Do you want to sip on my water? Hello, Sandra from Demon's Fairy. Hello, Jessica. Hello, Angelia. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Hello, Rosie. Thank you. And you can see, and I hope Barbara's here so she can see that Alyssa is drinking my water and spitting it out. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, Tedders. Hey, hey my Christy. Mm. They're saying hi to you. Say hi. Hello, Marianne. Mm. Mm. So if you missed it at the beginning, you'll have to rewatch it. Hello, Kim. Hello, Jenny from Boston. Mm. So if you missed the very beginning, you'll have mm. to watch it again. Hello, Darlene, because she said when we first got started, she went, she went, hi. Mm. Hey, Marlene. Thank you, Sandra. Okay, wait. Tell everybody hi. Say hi. Hey, Sylvia. Hey, Michelle. Hi. Hey, hey, Michelle. Thank you. We'll talk about my parents in a second. Hold on. Let me, oh, let me get what she's looking for. Oh, boink. And we just boinked her head. Hello, Sharon. And hello, Janet. Okay, hey. never mind. We're going to have a meltdown. So, hey, Barbara. Look. Wait, Barbara. Barbara, look. She was drinking my water. Hey, look. Hey. Hello, Sandy from Northeastern Kansas. Hey, Chris. And hey, Jackie. Okay, so... Today is John's birthday. Does everybody tell John happy birthday? No. Oh, she said no because she wanted the water back. And I hope I don't miss anybody. Hey, Kathy from South Carolina. Hello, Rosie from California. Hello, Lacey. Hello, Sylvia from Canada. Hey, Patty. Oh, Patty's going to call me. So everybody say happy birthday to John because he is getting ready to take Alyssa and run out of here. Yeah. And hey, Letitia. Hey, Kim. And yes, Barbara sees her drinking the water and everybody's saying happy birthday. So hold on just a second. I'm going to give her up or give her away or something. Okay, okay, I am back. So everybody keep telling John hello. Hey Sylvia, um, today is John's birthday and we are keeping Alyssa on his birthday because you know that's what grandparents do when it's their birthday. But anyway, she's been practicing, sorry, she has been practicing saying hi into the, um, into the iPad since I set it up about 30 minutes ago. So yeah, so I hope everybody saw the very beginning of this because she did it. And if you didn't see the very beginning, go back and watch it. Hello, Lindsay, because she went, hi. So, okay. Anyway, today is Sunday. Um, she let me catch my breath. Hello, Lisa, and hello, Jonna. So today is Sunday, March the 31st, and I know that without looking at my watch because it is John's birthday. And yesterday was his dad's birthday. And then, hello, buddy. And his mother's birthday is in like, 10 days and then it's his brother's birthday and it's one of my niece's birthdays and on and on and on and it is also my birthday my ne my niece taylor's birthday and i just realized i forgot to say happy birthday to her today uh oh hello claudie and hello tag so march 31st if y'all can believe it and i already forgot which chat number this is i think it's number 117 if i'm not mistaken somebody will have to go back and check that for me and hello irma um and Karen, you just missed accountability. Karen, you just missed Alyssa. I know you already saw her today, but anyway, so yeah, there's a lot of birthdays in March. It is one, thank you, Casey, it is 117. So yeah, so we have a lot of birthdays in March and April. Yeah, and then we skip again until May. Thank you, Kathy, it is 117. We skip again until May and then mine in June. Anyway, so it is Sunday, March the 31st. And so like our anniversary is on the 17th, his dad's birthday was on the 30th. His birthday is the 31st, and on and on and on. Yes, and hello, Marlene. So this is a live chat. If you're watching this live here on Facebook, you can give me some thumbs ups or some hearts like people are doing right now. See all those going up? Y'all can do those. Um, Casey and I love those, and that's the only way that we get paid is through Love Bucks. So we love it when you all give us some thumbs ups and um, some hearts. And um, if you're watching this later, hello, Ian. If you're watching this later on YouTube, it's just youtube.com. Search if you have an egg. Hello, Myra. Um, or if you're watching it later on Facebook, um, you will not be able to see the thumbs ups and the little hearts, but please do still comment. 
Um, don't forget to subscribe at the end. And thank you, Barbara, for all the love. So don't forget to subscribe at the end. Um, we love that a whole lot. Yeah, and hello, Betty. And if you um, are watching this later, ooh, yesterday was Janet's 45th anniversary. Congratulations, happy anniversary. Um, and hello, Stacy. And if you're watching this later, um, yeah, and if you don't wanna see all the hi hellos, cause I'm gonna be saying hi and hello a lot. Aloha, Kathy. If you don't wanna see that, you can scroll past to about 10 minutes because that's when, eight to 10 minutes, because that's when it kinda of winds down. And hello, Sandy. So, we've had a weird, weird week in the egg house. Um, I can't tell you too much right now, but last week, did everybody enjoy our field trip that we took to the new kitchen center? And I'm sorry, I'm still out of breath. We've been chasing Alyssa for the last 30 minutes. The last 30 minutes. And thanks for sharing it, Stacey. Um, whew, I'll just take a breath for a second. Anyway, she's 25-ish pounds of all energy, all energy. I even took her and Dusty to the dog park this afternoon. Did not slow either one of them down. But anyway, yes, glad you all loved the field trip. So last week we took a field trip to the new kitchen center and um, we did get our professional logo was released yesterday, I guess yesterday or today, I guess it was this morning. Um, and we'll have, you know, some more of that coming, but it is so cute. The professional logo is so, so cute. Hello, Evie. So it'll be Casey Kitchen Center, Casey Creative Classroom, and Casey Event Center. So we gave you all a sneak peek last week. Um, a whole lot more um, got done this week. But, hello, Loretta. Um, we have some exciting news. Casey and I, well, I can't tell you too much until it's official, 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 but Casey and I will be full-time at the new Kitchen Center. So that means that once we are... Um, once we are up and running, and it's probably gonna be right at four weeks before we're there full time. But that means she and I will be there, hello Betty, Tuesday through Saturday. We will be there full time. We should not be doing too much running back and forth. Hello, um, Bernice. Um, unless we are taking people to look at slabs um, over at the local um, stone yard, then we should be there most of the time. So that means we're gonna be doing lots more videos. Casey already has a long list of videos that she wants to do, and of course, I have a super long list of videos that we never caught up on. Hello, Vicki. And um, yeah, and we'll be doing lots of classes and lots of fun things. So if y'all are in Knoxville, so if you're gonna be in Knoxville anytime after May the 1st, like after May the 1st and for the rest of your life, so any day for the rest of your life after May the 1st, um, you should drop by and see us. But anyway, so we gave you a sneak peek last week. Um, hello, Kathy oh, from snowy Ohio. Is it snowing? It was like 70. No, not today. Yesterday it was 70 something and it's pretty warm today. And hello, Patricia. But anyway, so we'll be there all the time and we should have a lot more fun stuff coming um, a lot more Egg Lady Labs, um, lots more videos, lots more test kitchen things. Um, you know, anyway, so we're planning on having a good time tonight. Um, for the fluff portion. So in the second half of the, um, so in the second half of our um, uh, chat tonight, we're gonna be doing something interesting. And fingers crossed because part of it um, is a test. So I'm just hoping, I'm hoping that the test is gonna come out okay. So y'all are gonna wanna hang around for the second part, um, you know, for the second part of the chat. But anyway, um, okay, so I'm gonna sit here and talk and talk and talk, and then we will run out of time for the second half. Hello, Sherry. So last week, tour of the new digs. Yeah, so it was a tour of the new um, kitchen center. Um, I am getting super pumped about that, in case you all can't tell. And I know Casey is too. Hey, Melissa is saying hello from Orlando because she is on vacation. What? Are you at Disney? That's crazy. Yeah. Oh my goodness, and Michelle said it did not make it past 33 in her little corner of Central Ohio. 33, that's crazy, that is crazy. And Barbara's going to be in Florida on a cruise the first week, but when she gets back, she will come and see us. You come and see us anytime, Barbara, anytime. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so last week, who remembers what we talked about last week? Who attended a workshop last week? So who sat your bottom in a chair? Give me a thumbs up. If you're here with us live, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're watching this later, please do comment because we do go back and read these. Hello, Kathy. Um, so give me a thumbs up. Oh, Melissa is at Disney. How can you be at Disney and not ask me first? You know, you have to ask me, you know, for advice or Casey, you know, for advice. I'm sorry, I'm gonna scoot some, I'm gonna scoot some plastic wear out of the way. Alyssa has this new obsession with a little spoon, you know, stirring everything plastic. So I have made her one complete cabinet over here in the kitchen that's just stacking, you know, pl like empty plastic things. Um, and so you girls are smart, you've already skipped ahead. So 
thumbs ups. If you sat your bottom in a little chair, hearts. If you did both, if you sat your bottom in a chair or if you attended with us last week, if you attended with us here last week. So good job, everybody. Yeah, so here are your Bravo stickers. Yeah, Bravo stickers all the way around because that's a whole lot. That's a lot of you all and y'all are still commenting. That's a lot of thumbs ups and a lot of hearts. So y'all did a good job last week. Um, attending your workshops and attending with us here. And Melissa went back and watched the past episodes. Yay, yay, yay. Who was it? Who was it that was, um, is the person here, and I'm sorry I don't remember who it was, but is the person here that instead of having pizza with everybody else um, went back and watched some of our videos? Cause that was, you know, that was actually a great idea. Cause listen to me talk would make you not want your pizza. Hello, Johnny. Um, or Joni, is it Johnny, Joni, Joni. Um, so last week was try a reality check. And this was your weekly from last week, and yes, I know it's backwards, and the yummy salad. And this salad might give you a clue as to what we're gonna do in the second half um, of, our, of our chat during the fluff portion in the second half. Um, but we talked about having a reality check. And I will tell you, so sometimes, you know, I'm not always, I'm not always um, <clears throat> thrilled. In East Tennessee, um, things are blooming, so we're all starting to get choked up again. Hello, Carla. So, um, we, um, oh, and Carla, it says you're a sharer. What does that mean? What does that mean? No, Christy, not a spiralizer, but that's a good one. But yeah, East Tennessee, the dogwoods and, you know, all that stuff is starting, they're starting to kick up. So we prepared for a couple of, couple of weeks of the creeps. Um, who in take says that this salad is her dinner for tonight. Yum, yum, yum. But so I'm not always thrilled with the WW talk topics. Um, and yes, Barbara, it is bad. But this week, this last week, you know, every once in a while. Oh, well, thank you, Carla. So it's never said that before. So Carla says she shares it every time that we go live. Thank you very much. And hi, Kathy. So it's funny, though, because she has a new little symbol. And hello, Melissa. She has a new little symbol. If y'all can see it, the people that are here live, if you can see it going up and it says sharer. So that means she's extra special tonight. Carla's extra special tonight. Um, but sometimes they hit the topic like right on the like the nail on the head or whatever i mean they're like right on the money and sometimes i think um have they been listening to me or have they been spying on me or listening to me at my um workshop to hear you know to hear what i'm whining about so last week was try a reality check and if you remember we were talking about think feel and do that sometimes you think something and it makes you feel a certain way and then it makes you do something so we were going to do a reality check who did their homework last week because I did mine every single day last week. Every single day I did my homework. And I'll tell you what, what I did here in just a second. But who did your homework? So let's see some more thumbs ups or some hearts. Or if you're watching this later, if you're not watching it live, let's see a, you know, a hand or something, you know. Um, let's see. <laughs> Carla says she wants to be, what, two fan? Two fan, that's her goal. Oh. Yeah, so some hand, you know, give me some hands or some thumbs ups, you know, or whatever. Um, if you did your homework, because you all get, you know what you get, you get extra Bravo stickers for doing your homework. I got tagged in a, in a handful of them. It wasn't a ton of them this week, but Bravo stickers all the way around. Oh, top fan, yeah, yeah. There you go, Carla. It sounds good. You keep sharing, and you will be. Um, but so what I did. So remember, we, we were going to do last week. Good job, Lynn. What we were going to do last week was take an an unhelpful thought, and we were going to do a reality check on it, and then change it into a new helpful thought. So my unhelpful thought, because again, everything that's going on with you know my parents and and John's parents, and my real quick, my mom. I'm telling you, she's been the sickest the longest, but she is a champ, and she is like, she is. Um, hey, Davidson, she is like. <laughs> Yeah, and my mom is like, um, I don't know, she's like the best patient, you know. So you go in there and she's just, you know, Mary Sunshine and all Chatty Cathy and everything, you know. And then it's the others that we're having to worry about right now. So anyway, my dad physically is no, probably, you know, is not really much different. Um, but mentally, whew, this is really taking a toll on him. Um, and Michelle, your, your head doesn't have to hang in shape. You can do it this week. You can do your homework. You can do last week's homework this week. It's okay. You can do it as extra credit. Um, and then John's mom and dad are just like, I mean, they're like, well, I don't know what to do. But anyway, so my unhelpful thought was, I can't stay on track with all of these parent duties because we have a lot of parent duties. I mean, John's going over there three and four times a day. Um, and y'all saw his path. If you're following this, you know, you saw his path um, 
on my 360 where he was going, you know, up and down and up and down and up and down. So my reality check was, the reality check was, you know, yeah, I can stay, I can do something, you know, I may not be able to be perfect, but I can do something. Um, and then my new helpful thought was, is, my, so my, the homework that I did for last week um, is, um, and thank you, Christy, because he's, <laughs> um, you know, I'm trying really, really, really hard not to get frustrated with him, but he's called me nine times today because he can't figure out how to use his remote control. So, yeah, and this is a man that ran an international business for, you know, for almost 50 years. But anyway, so, um, but I, I understand, even though I don't really understand, but I do understand. Um, but anyway, so my new helpful thought was I won't be perfect, but I can focus on the on one thing that I can control. So the one thing that I focused on was breakfast every day. So y'all know I had bought things that were easy, like if I needed to grab them or if I needed to eat them at work, you know, or whatever. So instead of trying to be perfect, I focused on one thing. So that was my reality check was that no, I'm not going to fail. I'm not going to fail just because I, you know, don't have time, you know, for all this parent stuff or with all this parent stuff. Um, so I just picked my one thing, you know, did a reality check and picked my one thing. And my one thing was um, that I was going to pick one thing. And so I had breakfast every morning this week. So yeah, so go me. Yeah, Bravo sticker to me, you know, to me too. So good job everybody that did your homework. And I hope if you did not do your homework that you will go back um, and do it because I think that one's a really good one. And that's one that I'm gonna, I'm really gonna try and keep around, you know, to use for later because these, I will have these, you know, these times and these situations, you know, later. And Casey and I are getting ready to have a whole lot. Thank you, Melissa. Casey and I are getting ready to have, thank you, Barbara. We're getting ready to have a whole lot of work ahead of us. I mean, a whole lot of work. Like, she's coming over here in the morning, and instead of going to the office like we normally do, um, she's going to come over here in the morning, A, because we have her kid, and B, um, because we have a flip chart over here with the bigger picture items so that she and I can schedule the people that we need to talk to tomorrow to do the, you know, some of the, to narrow in on some of the smaller, you know, picture items because there's just so many details. Um, and thank you, Sylvia. So thank you all for giving me Bravo stickers. But so anyway, I'm going to hang on to that one. I'm going to keep that around because we are getting ready to have several weeks where I'm not going to be perfect. And you know what? There's lots of weeks that you're not going to be perfect, and it is okay. It is okay not to be okay. And there's actually a new song out. Um, I want to say it's Matthew Moore. I cannot remember, but it's, um, you know, it, it might be okay, some, you know, it's okay to not be okay. And I really, really like that song. Really like that song. Um, and Melissa said, it's April 1st. Are you all moved out? So that's the weird um series of events that I can't say too much about until after Friday, but let's just say that only Casey and I moved out and I found somebody to manage all the rest of it. So, yeah. So, and that is not an April Fool's joke, but I'll tell y'all more as we know more. Okay, this week, so this week what we talked about is finding an activity buddy. And this is your weekly for this week. Um, and hopefully, once Casey and I get all moved out, and we're focusing more on this, I will be able to actually post the video that shows you how to find this online and to download it. Um, but this, look, okay, whether you like peas or not, is that not the prettiest picture? I know it's green, but that is the prettiest, it's just the prettiest picture. I don't know. I just think it's really, really pretty. Anyway, that's for spring pea soup. So I may actually try that one because it's really pretty. Um, but yeah, so this week's topic was find an activity buddy. Um, this one was easy for me because you all already know that I have an activity, I have an accountability buddy who is, all, who is also my activity buddy. Um, but we've been doing this for, we've been walking for close to 25 years. And during our physical workshop, Gwen asked, you know, what, you know, what got that started. And honestly, Betty, I think this is chat number 117. I think we decided that at, at the beginning of the chat. Um, but one of the things that got Karen and I started was that was the only time we started out, we were walking really, really, really early in the morning. So we were walking before the kids got up. And um, that was one of the only times that it was just us. You know, we didn't have kids with us hanging on to us. We didn't have husbands, um, you know, going, when are we going to have supper? What are we going to do about this? When, you know, when is that? Whatever, um, you know, or your kids need you. Um, but you know, so it was, you know, it was us time. So it was just time for us. And if we tried to do things like ride bikes or swim, cause we did have a swimming pool 
you know, things like that. Of course, the kids wanted to be right in the middle of it, and we were looking for some alone time for us, you know, for me and her, she and I, instead of just, um, instead of just, um, um, you know, just exercise too, because I'll just say a lot of lives, a lot of lives have been saved by the walking therapy that happens while Karen and I are walking, because, you know, we talk ourselves out of, you know, getting rid of some people mm -hmm, sometimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So anyway, we started out doing it then. Hello, Susie. So we started out doing it then, um, and then it just kind of grew. And now, honestly, for her sanity, like all the stuff that's been going on with my parents, they've got a lot going on in their family right now. Um, we've really, we have needed it, you know, for some therapy. So um, I had to skip Thursday night of this week, and we were both kind of like, oh, you know, because we needed to talk. <laughs> So, I know a lot of people like go get pedicures and stuff, but Karen and I walk while we're talking and while we're getting our frustrations out. Okay, so in our weekly this week, they say, as with so many things in life, physical activity can be more fun and appealing with other people. According to research, it can inspire you to move more too. The trick is to figure out what buddying up benefits work best for you and how to get them. And they say, you know, here are a few ideas, some ideas. Join a crew. Do you thrive in a group? If working toward a shared goal or just meeting new people energizes you, consider joining a hiking club, becoming a, re a regular at Zumba or boot camp class, or signing up with a sports league. Okay, so if you don't want to spend the money, though, to do, you know, to sign up for, you know, for a group class, I mean, a group class is great, but other ways, you know, you could do that. Um, if you have a Fitbit, and I know I have an Apple Watch now, so I've not been doing this as much with the Apple Watch, but if you have a Fitbit, there are a lot of groups um, that you can join, actual Fitbit groups that you can join. Um, there are some groups, oh, I left my phone over here, hold on. There are some groups on Connect, and I was gonna look one up for you, but there are some groups on Connect that you can join. So I just wanna say, your, your accountability buddies, your activity buddies, they do not have to be near you. It's nice. Hello, Debbie. It's, oh, Debbie, you missed Alyssa. You're gonna have to go back and watch the beginning of it. Um, but your, um, your, um, what am I saying? Anyway, it's nice <coughs> when people live near you, but they do, but they don't have to. So, Lindsay's exactly right. There are weekly Fitbit challenges that you can do with your friends. Um, there is one, and Lisa just finished her six-week step bet challenge. Oh, step bet. Didn't even think about that. Yeah, step bet. Exactly. Step bet. Exactly, Lisa. That's a perfect one. That is a perfect one. And Sandy does Fitbit challenges, too. So, um, on Fitbit, that's prob this is probably one of the things that I miss the most about it. First of all, you know, you can, you can challenge yourself, you know, with your other Fitbit buddies. But also, have any of you done the, cha the Fitbit challenges where you go like you're going on a it's like you're going on a hike or you're going um, or you're doing a, the boston marathon or you're doing you know something like that and betty has a walking buddy that she walks with at work during break it's awesome um but some of them like the one i think i think was called the serengeti trail or something like that and it's really cool because as you get around to the different areas then it's a panoramic thing and you can take your phone and do this and it actually shows you a picture, you know, Yosemite Trail, that one, yeah, Sharon, exactly, the Yosemite Trail. That one's really cool because you can actually see it like you're there walking it. But if you're on, when you're on Connect, when you go to, um, when you go to Connect, you can go, you can go to these different, you can search in the groups and you can look and there's an, act, there are different activity groups. So there's a running group, a walking group, a cycle group, a step trackers group, a yoga group, a weightlifting group. CrossFit enthusiast, new to, new to activity, that one would be good. Where is it? This one right here, new to activity. So that might be good for, you know, for some of you that are just getting started. Early birds, people that are getting up early in the morning, gym, swimming, cardio, there's all kinds of them. So I think that's a, you know, a great way um, to, you know, hook up with some groups of people, even if you don't, you know, know them. And I know some of the ladies in our, if you have an egg group, um, oh, Lacey, Lacey's wanting to know what it's under. So Lacey, you go to, you go to connect, so you have to be on connect, and then you go to, so instead of looking at pictures that people have posted, there are two little things right here, and one of them is group, it says groups, and this one is foodies, because I'm in that group, and then this one is um, search groups, and this one is, and then go to activity. And then that's where you can find, you know, all of those. But that's a great way to be in a group. And I know some of the girls in the If You Have an Egg group, um, 
you know, check on each other and they'll say, you know, like, oh, I've already walked 8,000 steps, you know, or whatever. So it's great if they're near you, but they don't have to be. The next one says, go one-on-one, -on -one. prefer more personalized encouragement, set up sessions with someone like-minded or check in weekly with a buddy on Connect. Alternatively, have a trainer design a routine just for you or try a virtual trainer with our expert-led audio workouts by um, Aaptive on the WW app. So that's what Karen and I do. We, um, wait, Janet, Chick Eddie is my mom. Oh, wait, is Janet on here? Is your mom on here, Andrea? Yeah, is the mom of the second cutest baby. Hello, Sherry. Is the mom of the second cutest baby on the planet here? And Andrea, did you see the baby when she was first here? Yeah, she was all, you know, kittens and sunshine right before we went live. And she was going, hi, 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 you know, at my iPad. And then as soon as we started, she said hi once and then had a meltdown. Anyway, but you can go. Yeah, so Andrea's mom, hopefully you're here. So you can also go um, on your, on your, what your, on your WW app. You can go to scroll down here. So this is just on my home screen and you can scroll down here to, oh, I went too far. You can scroll here to get active and that is your Aaptive um, app. Yeah, Andrea, thank you. She's, and, she, and it's, uh, it is, yeah, it's her bedtime and she took like a 15 minute nap. So Casey, if you're still there, yeah, Dusty woke her up. She took like a 15 minute nap. But anyway, so then you go to the Aaptive, you can either work out with an expert, you can do lower intensity, like here's a basic walking workout starting together. So those are some that you can do just like with one, you know, like with one person. Um, oh no, and Carson has a respiratory virus. Oh no, but it's not slowing down, that's good. Um, but Karen and I um, walk at least three days a week. And like today, let me see. Today, I already have, I have 14,682 steps. I have walked a total of 7.13 miles. So the reason I've walked that much, I had three activity buddies today. I had John this morning because it was his birthday. I said, you are 53 years old. You're getting your honey out of the bed um, and you're gonna start walking again because he's really gotten slack about it. And then when, um, after we picked up Alyssa, then Alyssa and, um, Oh, hold on a second. And Alyssa and let's see, Alyssa, Dusty, and I walked down to the dog park. And then um, this afternoon, I walked again with Karen. So I had three different sets. So I had an adult spouse activity buddy this morning, and Dusty too. And then I had a grandbaby and fur baby activity buddies during the middle of the day. And then I had my accountability buddy for you know for the end of the day. Um, and then the last one is make it a date. If socializing makes activity time fly by for you, um, plan morning jogs with a friend or grab headphones and enjoy walk a walking phone date with a long distance pal. So Casey and I have standing dates to go to um, Planet Fitness. I would have never, never, ever joined Planet Fitness if it wasn't for Casey um, and I probably wouldn't go without her. Although I have snuck out there once before and um, yeah, I did the treadmill for like 30 minutes so that I had an excuse to use the Hydra massage bed. But anyway, yeah, but so we make it a standing date. Okay, so your homework for this week is I want you to find an activity buddy. That's all I want you to do. So they said, WW says, my activity buddy plan is to find one strategy that you can try this month, who will be a part of it, and one step that you can take. I just want you to find an activity buddy. So if you have one, good job. All you have to do for your homework this week is tell me, I already have an activity buddy and tag me in it. So tag me on Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube, you'll just have to comment, um, you know, or wherever. Um, and if it's connect, it's scrap and stamp too, but tag me in it. If you already have an activity buddy, good job. You get an automatic Bravo sticker. Um, so just tag me in your homework. If you don't have one yet, or if you find a way to have a new activity buddy, like if you form, if you form a group, um, hi, Andrea's mom. Hi, Andrea's mom, Janet. Um, your grandson's adorable, but I think you already know that. Um, but anyway, so, um, yeah, so find a different way. So if you already have one, you know, so if you either find a new activity buddy or, and remember, they don't have to even live near you. You can just find one, you know, like in our group or you can find one, um, join a group on Connect or, and Marianne's already got one, so bravo. Um, but, you know, but try something new. So I really, really, really believe that activity is better when done in twos. And, um, oh, and Sherry has an activity buddy. 
Con congratulations, bravo. Um, but anyway, I really think it's better when done in two, even if you're not together. So even if you're just on the phone together or if you're FaceTiming each other while you're on the treadmill or whatever, I really do believe, you know, that it's better when it's, you know, two or more. It's just, I don't know. It's just easier to do and it gives you some more, it's a called an accountability accountabil buddy because they keep you accountable. So try to make your activity buddy your accountability buddy, you know, also. Yep, and Lynn's got one at Curves. Awesome, bravo. And Michelle's is her dog. Awesome. Okay, and remember it doesn't have to be far. I mean, you don't have to, like Michelle says, she doesn't have the ability to walk that far. You know what? And your dog doesn't either. So y'all are a perfect pair. Any activity is better than no activity. Okay, and what we have to do, what we have to do, not have to do, what we have to do for the second half of the chat is literally going to take the entire 30 minutes, if not 35 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and start. So I'm going to go ahead and say, you have your homework. You know what to do. I expect everybody to do it. I expect you to do your homework. And we're going to end here with the classroom portion. So if you were just here for the classroom, class is dismissed. If you are staying for the fluff portion, it could be crazy. <laughs> It's, it has the potential to be crazy. So hang on, and we're going to start the fluff portion in just a moment. But Barbara, I have to drink my water first. So this has to do with the fluff portion right over here. Okay. And we are back for the fluff portion of chat number 117. Today is Sunday, March the 31st. And this is part two. So this is part two of chat number 117. Okay, we have a special activity. And sadly, I cannot bring it, I can't take you all over there because I don't think I could get you back. So we're just gonna have to do the best that we can do. It's actually a two-parter. So the very first part, we're gonna try something that I've seen on Instagram, I've seen it on Facebook, and I've seen it on YouTube. So fingers crossed we're going to try this. So if you all have been around any length of time, you know I'm the egg lady. I make everything that there is to be made out of eggs. I love eggs. I also love tofu, but I'm not the tofu lady. Um, but I can't hard boil an egg. The only time I've been successful is when Popcorn Karen and I did it in her um, Instant Pot. And I don't own an Instant Pot. And honestly, that was a lot of trouble for you know just for some hard boiled eggs. So... I've never tried it since then, but I have tried everything. I've tried boiling them. I've tried boiling the water first, then putting the eggs in. I've tried, Lindsay, honey, I know. Well, we're going to try something different. So, I mean, I've tried old eggs, new eggs, white eggs, brown eggs, blah, blah, blah. So, Carla, we're going to do them in the air fryer. Yes, yeah, so we've got two parts to tonight's second half of the chat. Um, the first part is we're going to try eggs in the air fryer. So we're gonna try, I'm sorry, we're gonna try hard boiling eggs in the air fryer. And while the eggs are cooking in the air fryer, we are going to unbox um, something that I got today, and, you know, and try it, or I got it a couple of days ago and see how it is. Okay, so first things first, this is um, my air fryer. I have two air fryers, but this is the one that I switched to. So this is my Simple Living Products um, XL. It's an XL um, air fryer. And I did already go ahead in my basket, in my air fryer basket, I put the little basket thing in there. So this is the part that I'm not going to be able to show you all too much. Since Casey and I will be on our own shortly, you know, like soon, then I'll go back and make a separate video. But just to, just to make sure, I have one white egg and one brown egg. Okay? So... Uh-oh, Debbie says she tried it and wasn't successful. Hmm, well, we're getting ready to find out. So, okay, so you put them on the basket, okay? And I'm gonna turn around and stick it in the air fryer. And again, this is my Simple Living XL. And if this works, we will make a separate video for it. Okay, so we're gonna put it on. So they said, I think this was on Facebook, they said to put it on 260. Or maybe it was, let's say 270 for 20 minutes. Okay. So while that is cooking, okay. So we're gonna try this. Um, but I already have, I know Irma's saying use the egg cooker. I already have an air fryer. 
and like I want everything to be able to be cooked in the air fryer so no. Carol why would you poke a hole in the bottom but I thought boy let me just simple <clears throat> okay so Tag says she's tried it and, it and they turned out but she thought boiling was just as simple I have never ever ever never ever 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 been successful okay and Marianne says 260 for 15 so I think it was depending on the um, on the actual air fryer so we're gonna try 270 for 20 I don't know and we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens and if they explode they explode and Carol it seems like if you poked a hole in the bottom they would explode okay so while we're waiting on that and now you've made me nervous. Maybe it was 260. Hold on, let me turn it down to 260. But you see how easy that was with the Simple Living, Simple Living Products XL air fryer. How easy that was. Power XL, the XL. How easy it was to turn that down. Okay. So two. Okay, all of a sudden. So Susan says 250 or 16. Then five minutes in the ice bath. Perfect every time. Okay. Okay, and I'm not buying an egg cooker, Irma. Not buying an egg cooker. And um oh Susie so yeah they always turn out when I boil them it does not matter if they're new eggs or old eggs um white or brown um they it doesn't matter if they are yeah st I tried steaming steaming worked okay they just worked okay for me um yeah so anyway it's just not worked for me they fall apart or they're not cooked all the way or you know or they won't peel okay so while we're letting this cook while we're letting this cook, um, I know <laughs> Betty says it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be really interesting because we're doing this live. So this is my very first time. So I don't know, we're gonna find out. And then if it works, then we'll make an actual video. Okay, but anyway, so I got a message from Chomps, from a company called Chomps. And it they are in Lincolnwood, Illinois. And sadly, I had never heard of them. And they asked me if we wanted to try, we, and it's just me here, if we wanted to try some of their chomps. Well, I had never heard of chomps, so I ordered them. So you all are seeing this while I am seeing this. And Kathy, I only put two in because Kathy wanted to know how many eggs I put in there. I put one brown one and one white one just to see if that made any difference. Um, yeah, and I only put one of each again. So I turned it, Carol Lee wants to know what temperature. I turned it down to, to 260. And Sylvia, I'm telling you, I've tried everything. I've tried the baking soda. I've tried the vinegar. I've tried the blah, 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 blah. Yeah, never, ever, ever worked. Kim, I've tried that. I'm serious. I've tried every single boiling method. None of them work for me. None of them work for me. And Stacy, I have it ready. So Stacy wants to make sure I have my ice bath, bath ready. I do have that ready. And yes, Barbara, the eggs were at room temperature. So, okay, but we're gonna try our chomps. So you all are looking at the box. I did go ahead and cut the box and open it, um, but y'all are looking at this at the same time I am. So, okay, the first package that's in here, these are called chomp, chomplings. And so this is just a little envelope that they put in the box. And the chomplings, it looks like, oh look, they're tiny. They're little tiny, like, beef jerky things and let's see this says this one is original beef chomps chomplings and it has zero grams of sugar four grams of protein and 43 calories for this little tiny one this is a grass fed beef and it's a snack stick and it says it is oh this is whole 30 so for those of you that are doing whole 30 it is whole 30 it is, they're gluten-free and I do not know what the P stands for. So, and I can't read it. What does that, what does that P stand for? Somebody tell me, I can't, I can't see, I can't see that far. Um, but anyway, so there's a grass-fed beef. There is a Chomplings free-range turkey and another grass-fed beef. Okay, so let's see, let's see how many points these are. So these are the chomplings. Oop. So the chomplings, this one's the grass-fed beef. It is one, this is one point, and this is for a 0.5 ounce. So for a half of an ounce, this is one point. That's actually pretty quick. Oh, the P is for um, um, paleo. And let's see, for the turkey, or paleo, is it paleo? I have a feeling, paleo, right? 
I don't know. I have a feeling I'm saying paleo because we have a restaurant here called that. Paleos. And the turkey is also one. So those are cute little snack size. Don't have to be refrigerated, and I guess until after you open them. Let's see. So, yeah. Super cute. Okay, so I'm not going to try one of those. Let's look and see what's in the big box. So there are, in this, there are two big boxes, and I think they're the, I think they're the same. But this is, so it's, oh, here, here's some more information on the front. Okay, so I still can't see what the, see what the piece says. It said, oh, yep, certified paleo. Paleo, okay, like a paleontologist, paleoontologist. Thank you, Lynn. Um, okay, so it's Whole30 approved, certified paleo, certified gluten-free, non-GMO, um, project verified and it says learn more at chomps.com at c-h-o-m-p-s.com and you can follow them on instagram at chomps facebook chomps and twitter at go chomps and it says humanely and humanely and sustainably raised protein simple pri uh, simple spices no hidden nasties i like that no sugar added, no GMOs, no gluten, no soy or dairy, no nitrates or nitrates added, except those naturally occurring in celery juice and some, cel really? Celery juice has nitrates? I didn't know that. Okay, so it comes in this cute little box. So we're going to open this. We're gonna open this cute little box and see what's inside. And the inside looks like this. So it looks like there are several different kinds in here. Okay, this one, whoa. This one is, and look, these are bigger. So these are, let's see how many ounces these are. These are 1.15, 1.15 ounces. Ooh, this one's jalapeno turkey. Jalapeno turkey. Let's see how many, and let's see, it is one, I think the serving size was one stick. Yeah, so this whole stick is a serving. And this one is jalapeno turkey. One, one smart point for the jalapeno turkey. Then we have cracked pepper and sea salt. That sounds good. Wait, why does that have a deer on the front of it? Hold on. What is that? Uh, venison, oh. Huh. For those of you who like venison, this is venison. That's why it has a deer on the front. So this one is cracked pepper and sea salt venison. And that one is three smart points. Okay, so I won't be getting more Bambi. Yeah, I won't be getting more three point Bambies. This one is hoppin' jalapeno grass fed beef stick. It's this big grass-fed beef stick, Chomps. These are all from chomps.com. This one is also three. So for those of you who prefer, so for those of you who prefer beef or venison, they, they are, but that's pretty big. I mean, that's still pretty big for three, you know, for three smart points. I've eaten a lot dinkier stuff for three smart points. <clears throat> this one is another grass-fed beef stick and it is, oh, Crankin' Cranberry. That sounds good. Crankin' Cranberry, is that right? Yeah, Crankin' Cranberry, that sounds really good. Also three, still it's a big, it's a 1.15 ounce stick, three smart points. This one is grass-fed beef stick, original flavor. So that one's the original, it's another beef one. So I'm guessing that it's three smart points. This one is also three smart points. And this last one is original turkey, free, yes, free range, free range turkey. Again, a big stick. And this one is the original, original flavor. And it is, oh, come on. one um, smart point for this whole stick. So both of the turkey ones for this really long stick. So both of these, you know, both of these really long ones that are turkey 
um, yeah, our, our one smart point. Okay, and Kathy says she can't believe she can't hear my air fryer. Okay, that was probably the first thing. Oh, and I think that's it. Yeah, so that's it. Okay, and we're actually going to try a couple of these. So, Kathy, that was the first amazing thing with this Simple Living Products air fryer. So, um, if you all um, don't already follow them on Instagram, they are like the coolest people. So, um, Simple Living Products, um, I don't know. They're just, first of all, they're real people. Like, it's not fake people on TV. They're real people. Um, and they have been so sweet and they share they share so many recipes but this that's probably the first thing we also have a power XL air fryer and it has been moved around to the other side of the countertop as a backup and then um, it's probably eventually going to end up in the camper because we just we just use this one all the time I can talk over the top of that it is right behind it's right behind me and I can talk over the top of it my power XL we would not be having this conversation right now. So yeah, Simple Living Products. And if you go to the blog, if you go to www.ifyouhaveanegg.com, um, I think I've got it posted. I think I've got a link to them specifically and to the one that I have specifically posted at the very top um, of every page on the blog. I love them that much. So, okay. So we're gonna try, which two should we try? Which two do y'all want me to try? So I am willing to open, I'm not gonna, opening a little chomp chomplings right now because I think I'm going to save those and keep them in my snack bag but um so which two of these do you want me to try so I'm willing to spend a couple of extra points I'm not going to eat the whole thing but I'm willing to spend a couple of extra points for you all tonight so okay so Rosie wants me to try <clears throat> one of the jalapenos and Sandy says cranberry so let me see oh yeah so we've got a second Sylvia saying jalapenos Christy's saying a turkey one so how about we do, how about we do this? Let's see. There is a jalapeno one that is turkey. So that'll cover jalapeno and turkey. And then we'll do the cranberry one. Okay, so let's try the cranberry one first because the jalapeno one I'm assuming is gonna take over the flavor of the cranberry one. Okay, <clears throat> Michelle says cranberry and jalapeno. Oh, and Debbie's had the turkey. She's had the turkey and it's good. Okay, so. I'm gonna be weird to smell it. It literally smells like every other beef jerky. It smells kind of like a Slim Jim, maybe. Okay, this is a cranberry one. So this is Crank and Cranberry. And again, for the 1.15 ounce, um, it is three smart points if I eat the whole thing. Mmm. Crank and Cranberry. I wonder why it's called cranking. It's delicious. It's delicious, but it's a tiny bit spicy. I wonder if that's because it's the... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. The longer I chewed that, the better it got. So, I'm trying to find on here if it has some kind of spice because it is a little bit spicy, but it's really good. That's really good. So, Casey, you will be trying this tomorrow because I'll bring the two opened ones with me so that we can snack on them while we are working hard tomorrow or we're working hard by ourselves tomorrow and then that's really good it's one of those things the longer it sits in your mouth the better it tastes okay and we may take those out at the 15 minute mark because y'all are starting to make me nervous about that about leaving them in there for 20. um okay see and here i am already second guessing myself yeah, a little bit spicy hot um, Carolou, but I don't know if that has something to do with the fact that it's um, that it's like a beef stick, you know, because beef sticks are kind of inherently already a little bit um, spicy. And then this one is the jalapeno. It's the turkey. Turkey jalapeno. So this whole stick is one smart point. And I, I do not know. I'll have to look on here. I don't know if you can get all of the flavors... I don't know if you can get all the flavors in the chomplings and the little ones or not, but I think I'm going to add these to my snack bag, you know, for my hashtag purse check, um, just to, you know, to see. And this is a turkey one. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, while I'm tasting that one, we're going to stop and go ahead and take these out at 15 minutes. I don't know. I may be messing up, but we're going to find out. So we're at 15 minutes. We're 15 minutes on the eggs. 
and I already have my ice back ready. So I'm just going to gently take them out with a pair of tongs because that would be too hot, obviously, to pick up with your hand. Okay. So I took them out. I immediately put them in the ice bath. Mm, how much salt? Let's see. Let's see if I can see this. I think it says, actually, you know what? I scanned it. Let me see what it says on my scanner. Okay, so on the jalapeno, it is, oh man, the person who entered this didn't put in the sodium. Hold on a second. And I don't have on that strong of glasses. And I don't think I have any, any stronger. Let me see if I can read this. So it looks like it's either 250 or 260. It's 12% of your daily, you know, it's 12% of your daily and take, if it doesn't work, so I just took them both out and put them both, both in the ice bath, the white one and the brown one at 15 minutes. So if it doesn't work, of course it'll be live and y'all will know whether or not it's going to work. Um, but if it doesn't work, then we will, oh, and actually that's going to be perfect timing because by the time they sit in there for five minutes, that'll give us five minutes to attempt to open them. Um, but the beef one looks like it is also, I think it says 250 because it says it's 12% of your day, um, of your daily. Um, it's funny, this one seemed the crank and cranberry, maybe that's why it's called crankin'. Because the crank and cranberry seemed a little more spicy than the jalapeno. Um, but they were both, they're both delicious. Like, I have a feeling I will be ordering more of these. Um, both of them are really good. They're not as, they are not as salty as the, um, they're not as salty as like a normal beef jerky or like a, like a Slim Jam or something like that. Um, they're very different. Sylvia wanted to know which one I preferred. They're two very different flavors. Like this one obviously is the texture of beef, so it's a little bit more chewy. This one is a softer texture. Both of them are really, really good flavors. Um, I don't know. I really like them both, but I got to tell you, um, oh, 290. Okay, Bernice says it says 290. Let me see if I can make that out. That's a maybe. <laughs> No, I can't see it that I can't see it that well, but it does say that it's 12% of your daily of your daily allowance. I can see that number that it's 12% of your daily allowance for sodium. Um, anyway, but they're they're both really good. Like I think I'll be reordering these. I will probably stick with the turkey ones since they are only one point for that whole big thing. So remember, this one is turkey for one point. This one is beef for three points. And yes, I think. I know, Debbie, Costco boiled eggs are the best, but you know what? I'm just, I'm, tr I'm just trying. I'm trying here. I'm just trying to do something. But yes, they did send me a, I'm assuming this is a sample box. Actually, let me see what the packing list says. So thank you, Chomps, because we did not pay for these so that we could, you know, so that we could try them. So thank you. Um, it says it is a variety pack of Chomps best selling flavors. So, and thank you. Jonda Connor for sending these to us so that we could try them. So if you all do decide to get them, um, we did not get an affiliate um, code. So I'll ask again if there, you know, if there is one. But if you do decide to order them, please just let them know that the Egg Lady, you know, tried them. And they are again, they are on Instagram at Chomps, Facebook Chomps, Twitter at Go Chomps. Um, Debbie says you're the bomb. I don't think so. I'm just a glutton for punishment. Um, or chomps.com. So, again, they are humanely and sustainably raised protein, simple spices, no hidden nasties. And I still love that. Um, no sugar added, no GMOs, no gluten, no soy or dairy, no nitrates or nitrates added. So, yeah. So, these things are the bomb. And they taste good. So, three points for the beef, the big beef kind. One point for the big turkey. The little ones, the chomplings. It was one smart point, no matter what kind it was. Okay, we have one minute. And Jackie, I have no idea how much they cost because they sent them. They just, they sent them so that we could try them. So we will have to check out the prices on that next. But I wanted to open them while you all were here. Okay, so let me put this away. And Casey, please help me remember 
These two are already open, so we need to go ahead and eat these two. We should do that tomorrow. Okay, I'll set those two up so I can see. Okay, so our eggs, our eggs have been in the ice bath now for five minutes. So we are gonna go ahead and try them and see how they turn out. Okay, I'm gonna make myself a little clean spot here and I know that you will not be able to see this because I can't move the video and it sounds like everybody's coming back in. Um, so we will try, let's try the brown one first and hopefully if Alyssa, oh, she is asleep. Okay, Alyssa is asleep so we will try to do this quietly. <coughs> Okay, and the Cranking Cranberry has three different kinds of pepper in it. So, hey Tara. So, it's no wonder it's spicy. And Tara's popping in to say hi. Okay. So, it sounds done. Okay, so let's see how this one turns out. So, we ended up going to 260 for 15 minutes. And then straight to an ice bath for five minutes. Uh-oh, and I may have woken Alyssa up by, oh, I think I did wake Alyssa up. We may have to be quiet for the next couple of minutes. Anyway, let's see. I did roll it. I did say, see, I did roll it. Okay, I gotta say, this is peeling very nicely. Can y'all see this? Yeah, this is peeling very nicely. This is hopeful because every other time that I've done Every other time that I've done um, any other way that I've done hard boiled eggs, um, yeah, it's just been like, oh, they have not been this clean. Okay, so, okay, first of all, I've never, ever, ever got gotten a hard boiled egg to peel that clean. Okay, so this is the brown one. This is the brown one. So. Okay, let me cut it and let's just see what the inside of it looks like. So this is already more promising than anything else I've ever done. So, depending on how the inside looks, there may be hope for me after all. Fingers crossed. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I made a hard boiled egg. Can you believe it? Okay, and I'm being a little less than enthusiastic right now. I'm not being not enthusiastic, but Alyssa's asleep. Oh my gosh, I made a hard boiled egg. <gasps> so let me think, it was 260. It was 260. Hmm, so it was 260 for 15 minutes and then five minutes in the egg bath. Okay, let's see what the white one looks like. Okay, so that was a brown egg and we did, let's see if I can do this without waking her up. Let's see. So that was a brown egg. I did let them both come to room temperature before I started. Um, let's see. Fingers crossed. Here goes the white one. It's looking pretty good. Oh my gosh, look at this. I have never, ever, ever, oh, look at this. It almost came off in one piece. Look at that. Oh, holy cow. This is crazy. <clears throat> Have you ever seen somebody so excited? Oh, I may be able to do Easter eggs this year. Okay, let's see what this one looks like on the inside. Can y'all still hear me? Because I feel like I'm being really quiet. Oh, and look. Oh my gosh. I made hard boiled eggs. Okay, so let's just recap. Look at that. Look how pretty they are. Look how pretty. I'm so excited. So thank you everyone on the internet who was posting about air fryer hard boiled eggs. Yay! I can make hard boiled eggs now. Like those could cook while I'm in the shower. Oh my gosh. Okay. Awesome, 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 awesome. So let's just recap so I can make sure because I need to come back and watch this. So they were room temperature eggs. It was a white one and a brown one. So that didn't seem to make any difference. Um. <clears throat> and I put them on the, I know Sharon says there will be no stopping, you know, I know we're having hard boiled eggs for everything. Um, 
there was I know it takes exactly right. It doesn't take much to make us happy. I know. So I'll put the basket in. So I'll put the basket in the air fryer. We'll see if it's cooled off enough to pick it up. It is not, so don't do that. So I'll put the little basket in there and I put the eggs on top of that. And I gotta say, there's probably only room for six eggs, but I mean there's two of us, so when do we need to so, you know, when do we need to, you know, cook more than four or maybe six eggs? So, I'm going to guess if they're touching each other, then maybe it's a little different. I don't know. So, I'll branch out, and after we eat these, the next time I'll try with four, and then maybe I'll try with six another time. But, anyway, so, room temperature, put them on top of the basket, air fryer, ba the basket that goes in the bottom of the air fryer, put them on top of that. And then, I put them on for 260, because y'all made me nervous about the 270, 260 for 15 minutes, and then immediately took them out and put them immediately, oh yeah, now I am the egg queen, yeah. Um, put them immediately into the ice bath and let them sit for five minutes in the ice bath and they are perfect, perfect. Yeah, Tedders, it was 260. So it was, it was 260 for 15 minutes and then five minutes in the, um, in the ice bath. So I'm sure that depends on your air fryer. I'm sure it depends on the wattage of it, you know, and whatever, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I just made hard boiled eggs. Can y'all believe it? Can you believe it? And I tell you what, I'll actually even, I'll try one of them. I'll try one of the bottoms just to make sure, just to make sure that they're okay. That's a hard boiled egg. And let's see. I'm just gonna be weird. And see how easy the yolk comes out. Yes, Teddy guy, I am the egg lady after all. So, and thank you for pushing that, Christy. Okay, so see how pretty that came out? So, I could also make her, um, deviled eggs. Yeah, this is going to be a whole, this is a whole new world for me. Um, this is so awesome. I can't tell y'all how excited I am. Okay, so thank you very much for staying until after nine. Um, you know, this literally, be prepared. You're going to see... I mean, Barbara, no, I did not preheat my air fryer. I did not. I just, I never do. I never, ever, ever preheat mine. I've never had to for anything. Um, so, yeah. So, expect to see a lot of hard-boiled egg recipes. <laughs> Since I know how to do this now, there's like, yeah, this is crazy. So, let's, let's, so let's get going. Yeah, let's get started with some, um, with some, um, deviled egg recipes. So, this is awesome, awesome. Okay, Alyssa is asleep, so I'm not going to hold her up again, um, now, but Dusty, psst, 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 Dusty. Dusty, come on, dog. So we will see if Dusty wants to tell us goodnight. Yeah, that was so easy. That was so easy. And I cannot wait for Casey to post this as the extra video. Goodness, so since I started with Alyssa, we will end with Dusty and we will let him tell everybody goodnight. And Sylvia, I will, I will try it with more um, than two eggs, but y'all have an awesome week and I'll let y'all know, but y'all have an awesome week. Um, yeah, stay tuned for the big, you know, more, more, more big changes coming, um, you know, with me and Casey and some more fun stuff, especially now that I can hard boil eggs. So yeah, awesome, awesome. Okay, everybody have a great week. Don't forget to do your homework and don't forget to um, tag me in it so I can see it. And if you hard boil some eggs in your air fryer, be sure and tag me in that. So have an awesome week and um, I'll see you guys later. Good night. See you next week. Oh, yeah. And if you're watching this on um, Instagram or on Instagram, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget right here. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So pretty please. That's my favorite thing. So good night, everybody. Have a great week and I'll see you next week. Good night. Mm -hmm.